Uh, good afternoon, my good name afternoon. is Anisha and I'm a final year medical student. Uh, can I please confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yasmin James, 21st of March 1997. Perfect. So uh, today I will be examining your thyroid. Mm -hmm. For this, I will require you to touch your neck. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. That's All right, perfect. I'll start your examination then. The thyroid examination comprises of observation and palpation of the thyroid gland. So first, we need to observe for any enlargement of the thyroid gland. For this, we need to tilt the patient's head to their right and to their left and look out for any enlargement of enlarged masses in this region here. So now we are moving on to palpation of the thyroid gland. For this, we need to locate where the thyroid gland is situated. Before that, let's learn about the simple anatomy of the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland usually weighs around 18 to 25 grams and is not usually prominent or palpable in normal individuals. So to identify the thyroid gland, use your thumb and find the mentalis of the patient and stroke downwards. The first prominence is the thyroid cartilage. Below the thyroid cartilage, you would find the thyroid gland situated bilaterally. Okay, let's start palpating the thyroid gland now. So to palpate it, let's find the thyroid gland again from the mentalis downwards below the thyroid cartilage. After finding the thyroid gland, use the tips of your three fingers and push into the thyroid gland. This is to ensure uh, to look out for any nodules or enlargement of the thyroid gland. Palpate it in a circular motion, looking out for any kind of abnormalities or pathologies because finding these pathologies could indicate diseases such as toxic multi, multi nodular chorea, um, graves or Hashimoto's. Apart from just observation and palpation, it's also important to auscultate each lobe of the thyroid gland. This is to identify any sounds like boots which indicate increased vascularity of the thyroid gland in diseases such as graves. So you would need to place your stethoscope on either side of the thyroid gland and look out for any sounds like boots, which is palp palpitation of the thyroid. Place it on either side and listen out. So could you please put your arm? By doing this, what we are looking for is fine tremors of the hands. You can also place a paper on top of the hands to look out for any fine tremors indicating diseases, again, of the thyroid. Also, look out for any sweating of the palms and palmar erythema, of, palmar erythema as well. Now, do not forget to look at the eyes to know for any ex ophthalmus indicating, again, diseases such as graves. Okay, Yasmin, this concludes our consultation and from our examination, your thyroid seems perfectly normal. Thank you for visiting today. <laughs> that concluded our physical examination. Now it's also important to conduct laboratory examination of the thyroid gland. This would include looking out for any T3, T4 and also antibodies against the thyroid such as TPO, all indicating pathologies of the thyroid gland.